Welcome back to the Incubator Show. Uh, today I would like to give, uh, to give you a few more relevant information about the practical usage of our Smart 24X Incubator. Before first use, read the instructions very carefully in their entirety. Instructions are actually in Italian, English, French, Spanish. Shortly we'll be introducing also the Deutsch language. Well, uh, above all, good incubation strictly depends, depends on the usage of uh, a suitable incubator as well as on a set of very important uh, factors which can affect final results unless properly managed. Well, above all, the incubation room. Uh, you have to place the incubator in a dry room with a temperature comprised between 17, 23, 25 degrees maximum. The temperature uh, and humidity in the ambient room may influence the temperature and humidity inside the cabinet. So th this is much important. Well, place the incubator on a flat, level surface and close to an electrical power outlet for easier access. Well, let's, uh, let's talk about the unit. Now, we have two plugs. One for the thermostat that manages the temperature, the ventilation, the heating by the heater and one for the egg turning, for the automatic egg turning. Well, let's switch the machine on now. Okay, we have the temperature, digital temperature, 29.4 actually is the temperature inside the unit. Okay, by pushing the temperature humidity selection key you will exit to the reading also of the humidity actually you have 30 percent humidity inside the unit it's very it's very easy it's very user friendly and easy to understand to adjust the temperature you can act on the set keys by pushing you can increase or decrease the temperature the incubator is already settled by the factory to the correct uh, working temperature of 37.7 centigrade degrees corresponding to 99.7 Fahrenheit degrees so what you have to do switch the machine on wait until the incubator has reached has joined the working temperature and then very important check the correspondence between the temperature reading on the thermostat and the temperature on the Fahrenheit thermometer supplied. So you must have on the thermometer exactly 100 degrees. It's very important. Always concerning the thermometer, uh, remember, remember the bulb of the thermometer uh, must be aligned with the center line of X for a perfect reading of the temperature. Okay, well, we talked about temperature and, hum uh, and humidity. Now we talk about turning. Okay, we have a second separate plug to, man to manage the turning of X. Just a moment. Okay, as you see, nothing, ha nothing happens. Why nothing happens? Because the turning is very slow and delicate. Okay? We have a turning motor inside this special box positioned outside the incubator. This motor makes one 360 clockwise turn per hour that is uh, transformed into linear movement of the egg turning grid. 
So you simply place, position the X this way on, the, on all spaces between the bars of the egg turning grid. Okay? And you will manage the turning in a very easy way. It's important to understand that the last two days uh, of incubation, I mean the 20th and the 21st day of incubation, you will have to disconnect the turning and leave the X on the, on the wire mesh uh, and increase the humidity during the action period. Okay. How to manage humidity? As I explained it in, um, in the last video, it's very, humidity is very easily manageable on, a, on our smart incubator. As you see, as you as you see, you have the reading of humidity. So you have to um, refer to the reading of the thermostat, and you will have to adjust the humidity inside uh, according to the reading. How to adjust humidity? You have four basins inside. Okay, during the incubation period, you can fill one or two basins maximum depending by the reading on the thermostat during the just during the hatching period you can arrive to fill three or four basins because it's important to increase the humidity during the hatching period well you can do this very easily by putting water with uh, whichever type of container directly onto plastic mesh supplied it's very it's very easy okay uh, it's important to remember that humidity is intended like the quantity of water in the air uh, to to manage humidity you will have to act on the water evaporating surface so enlarging the enlarging the surface water increase increase humidity reducing the surface area decreases it okay it's important to understand that for humidity uh, it's the surface area which affects humidity not the depth of the container of or the volume of water uh, well i hope i've given you uh, useful information for your incubation uh, we are at your disposal okay uh, in a, the next video i will uh, try to give you mm, a few more suggestions of uh, the calibration of the thermostat thanks for watching bye bye